The first stage in this lengthy extraction process is stripping. This involves the removal of the various geological layers above the limestone, which have protected it from the elements since time immemorial. Clay and silt around 20 meters deep are processed by external companies, and a greyish limestone at an average depth of around 50 meters, transformed by a partner company specialized in gravel and aggregates. Finally, at a depth of 70 meters, the most valuable rock is uncovered, blue limestone of Aino. The uncovered deposit comprises nine geological benches, whose total depth is around 45 meters. The entire extraction is organized around the benches' steep incline, which is around 12 degrees. To optimize the material's quality and cut, precise marking is carried out by taking into account the sedimentation of the layers, breaks and white vein sections. Bench cutting is initially performed lengthwise by a giant chainsaw on tracks, the coal cutter. Its six-meter cutting arm is equipped with a diamond-segmented chain. The chainsaw cuts the bench by moving up the slope at a speed of around three centimeters per minute. The transverse cut can then be carried out by a crawler-mounted coal cutter, which cuts the benches at an average speed of 4 to 8 centimeters per minute. These blocks or boulders around 2 meters wide now cut from the benches are tipped over on a mat and removed from their natural bed. These boulders, which weigh around 100 tons, are however too bulky and heavy to be thus transported the boulder will then be split into two or three blocks. Using a pneumatic drill, the operator bores holes by following the segmentation joint. In the second phase, the stone cutter places hydraulic spreaders in holes to split the boulder into several blocks of around 40 tons each. These blocks are then carefully labeled. The labeling which is carried out throughout production ensures the material is accurately traceable from extraction to finished product. All the blocks thus extracted are then conveyed by bulldozers to a raw materials processing area where they undergo measurement, squaring off and selection. Wire cutting has finally been superseded by a recent fleet of fixed and mobile machines which cut and square off the selected blocks into the desired sizes, for ease of subsequent processing. At this stage, raw materials which do not meet Carriel du Eno's very strict quality criteria are discarded and repurposed at industrial crushing facilities. The squared off blocks are sent to sawmills where they are processed by machines specially designed for Carrière du Eno and customized for transporting huge blocks. These machines move the blocks to the upper production facility where they are sawed using a range of techniques. The blocks meant for the sawing ateliers are then processed by combi lifts. These mobile bridges have been exclusively tailored to the needs of Carrière du Eno. They accurately position the blocks of blue limestone individually on conveyors. The loaded conveyors are then placed in the gang saws, which cut the blocks parallel to the sedimentation layers. The gang saw, a sort of giant bread machine, is comprised of a series of four meter long blades equipped with diamond segments. Through a horizontal back and forth motion, the blue limestone is cut day and night at a rate of 30 centimeters per hour into slabs between one and a half and 15 centimeters thick. Once the block has been cut, it's fixed in place by means of wedges. It can then be transported into its stripping area where the slabs are sorted and classified by selection and according to their thickness. At this stage, as with each transformation stage, a quality control and meticulous selection process takes place a technique particularly suitable for ensuring the evenness of the thick slabs is the single belt cutting. These machines saw off the blue limestone blocks at a speed of 180 centimeters per hour. 
Finally, the large circular blades enable the sawing of on-sart blocks and thick slabs, ensuring the material is optimally enhanced. Throughout the Blue Limestone's extraction and transformation, water is a key and ubiquitous ally. Carrière du Hainaut unleashes vast amounts of mine and spring water through its excavation operations, and these resources are managed responsibly and parsimoniously. Supplying over 40,000 households, the spring water pumped out is piped through underground pipelines to the public water company's treatment plant at Neufville. The water required by the quarry's various processes is used in closed circuits. Progressively filled with blue limestone dust, the water is gradually purified through a series of settling tanks. The water purified in this way can be reused. After passing through the sawmills where the raw material is transformed into a semi-finished product, the blue limestone slabs are transported based on their thickness to indoor or outdoor storage areas, which cover 12 hectares of space. The storage is managed through the traceability system, which Carrière du Hainaut has implemented to ensure the material is processed and monitored optimally, from extraction to final transformation. While some slabs which have a rough sawn appearance are sold to distributors as is, others undergo surface finishing at various divisions. The recent purchase of numerically controlled machines equipped with the latest technology enables the use of a variety of surface finishing treatments. The slab polisher equipped with rotary heads makes numerous types of surface finishing possible through polishing, depending on the type of abrasive segments and the speed and rotary pressure used. The various types of finishes such as light and dark blue honed, high polished, enopasso or scoured are results of this surface treatment technique. This intelligent machine's technological innovation consists of detecting any imperfections in evenness through the systematic scanning of slabs. The machine directly corrects any imperfections detected. At the end of the process, the treated slabs are meticulously quality controlled, labelled and photographed. The very latest mechanical surface finishing line includes various finishing techniques such as stone flaming, bush hammering, rotary bush hammering and trimming, among many others. This latest generation unit enables the surface finishing of blue limestone slabs at a rate of 370 square meters a day. To date, around 20 types of Carrière du Hainaut finishes are carried out by this surface finishing facility, such as blue flamed, Aino touch, Aino Lucci, Aino Design, Chisel, Chard, and many others. Moreover, this new surface finisher opens the door to numerous combinations and the creation of innovative and exclusive finishes. The entire line is housed in a sound attenuation chamber which ensures soundproofing and comfort and makes for a pleasant working environment. The cutting centre, which houses several computerised cutting machines, cuts the slabs into finished products such as tiling and wall cladding. The cutting centre includes a material recycling unit. This machine recuts flayed or damaged tiles into smaller units to optimally enhance the value of the extracted material. Following the cutting, some tiles can be treated with specific finishes through treatment with a supplementary machine, such as, for instance, the trommel. Through a pounding procedure, the blue limestone tiles are naturally patinated and acquire an aged appearance which evokes old church or farmhouse flagstones. These are Carrière du Hainaut's Hainaut steel tiles. These cleaving machines enable stone cleaving, producing cleaved flagstones or wall pavers which expose the raw material and glints of blue limestone, reminiscent of granite's radiance. This unique character explains why it's called Belgian Petit Granite. Although the stone treatment techniques are machine-aided, the human touch is entirely responsible for quality. Expert human eyes look out for the smallest defects and discard any items which fail to meet the set criteria. 
some sophisticated and artistic transformations which require sensitivity, patience and experience cannot be performed by machines and depend on the know-how of stone cutters, whose skills are irreplaceable in terms of stone working, particularly with curved pieces and decorative elements.